the celebration of independence, we join together in prayer for our nation. Jeremiah 33, verse 6, I am going to bring it, recovery and healing. I will heal them and reveal to them abundance of prosperity and security. Let us pray. Dear God, we pray and we ask you to bless President Obama today and the men and the women that lead this great nation. We pray, God, that you will bless those in Congress of both parties working together for the good of our nation. We pray also, dear God, that you will work with other nations everywhere for the common good of all humanity. We ask today that everyone will join us in adding this country to their individual daily prayer. As patriots, this is a time to rise above partisan divide and follow the directives of our forefathers and foremothers. United we stand and not fall divided because the stakes are too high. Dear God, we ask you to guide every decision and every action. May immediate divine intervention spiritually bail out those citizens that have been in crisis. We pray for the dawn of new hope for all citizens in the cities, in the countryside, from the shores of the Atlantic to the crest of the Pacific. We pray for a new opportunity, a new era of economic growth for all Americans. We pray for true job security for every man, woman, and child, and a way and a path to provide for their families and pay off their debt. We pray for every child from preschool to college. May every child know that the dream is still very alive, that this nation is still a place of fulfillment, a land of opportunity. May every parent's dream of a better life for their children be realized. We do not pray for an end of struggle, but purpose-driven struggle. We pray that our future exceeds anything in the past. We pray that we not only harvest from the farmer's field, but also harvest in every season of the year the unique creativity, and inventiveness of the American people. At the turn of the century 100 years ago, we saw the Industrial Revolution. It made this land of dreams an economic superpower. We pray at the beginning of this new time, with different challenges confronting that we each have the genius of God coming through our human minds to create a creative revolution. God bless our dreams, our inventiveness, rebuilding and repairing and finding new ways, making again, built in America, the world standard. Taking individual responsibility knowing that it's not up to someone else to do it for us, but up to we, the people. May the only future foreclosures be of disillusionment, pessimism, and cynicism. May we each ha have an optimism that is filled up to the brim, an optimism of the pioneers that forged ahead to make this nation great. Dear God, with your help, we know that the wheels of the economy will be turning faster again with ever-increasing home, car sales, and job growth created by ever-expanding, successful, God-blessed business. May these United States be 50 states of opportunity and growth. 
based on a new state of spiritual consciousness. May God bless every individual on Main Street to Wall Street as we witness miracles of people working with God-given ideas under the government of God. We pray for a reversal of loss. God guide us to ever-increasing gains and fortune for those in every level of life, giving hope to those just starting out, to the middle class, and to the very successful. God, we ask you to bless our confidence. God, we ask you to bless this nation with growth in the job sector. God, we ask you to bless the stock market as it reaches new highs. God, we ask you to bless the confidence of the employer to employ. God, we ask you to bless the confidence of the consumer to consume. God, we pray that you will make safe every investment so that we have enough and to spare, overflowing with a stability of growth. May this be a time, dear God, where we cross the threshold to a new era, where our trust in our financial institutions is grounded in its new leadership, not based on a God of greed, but the leadership of the true God that always has believed in prosperity and growth of all of the people, even the least of us. This is the beginning of a major turnaround. Repent in the Bible, we know, dear God, means to turn around from destructive ways and habits to positive, transformative ways of God. May this God-directed turnaround lead to an era of lasting prosperity and lasting abundance felt by all of us. May our year of the Lord be a turnaround to world-class quality of American craftsmanship. Dear Lord, we ask that you will make this turnaround a time for manifest peace, communication, and understanding between people everywhere. History will show that this time of need was a time as never before of opportunity for humankind. History will show each American reaching, stretching beyond what is now accepted and known to a new high of what can be. May this be happening simultaneously in Washington and in ourselves. We launch forth as productive citizens to work together with a God-given stick to we know with God's help, the American dream is more real now than ever before. We stand tall in this moment in our belief in, in God we trust. God bless the United States of America.